while I said I never really got into Luigi's Mansion, and I always sort of thought it was an overrated piece of shit, Luigi's Mansion 2, I think is one of the greatest video games ever made. It's attention to detail, it's speed, it's jokes, it's puns, it's visuals, it's characters, it's pacing, it's timing. Even the design of the shows. Look at that thing! When I saw the first Luigi's Mansion, this is the video games I thought I was gonna get. The story? Luigi is a ogre. Yeah, kind of spoiler. Who are now off to visit Matt Damon. Matt Damon is not pleased with this, so he sends his soldiers to perform mass genocide. Because a prophecy foretold that Luigi is the only thing that will destroy him. We also find out there's a subplot going on with evil fairy god parents in order to get their blessing. It's because a prophecy foretold that a blessing is the only thing that will destroy it. Luigi and a prince named Prince Charming, played by Catherine Zeta-Jones. But that doesn't last for long as God himself comes down and tells Luigi that the mansion is being closed down. Let's talk about the good stuff, because honestly, there's a lot. The evil fairy godparents aren't funny. Yeah, I actually found fairy godparents hilarious in this, because, oh, I don't know, they gave him funny things to say. Luigi was also very likable. And even though his voice isn't technically that great, there's still so much heart and passion put into it that you don't care. It sounds wonderful. The climax is one of my favorites. With a little bit of a wink to Ghostbusters and one hell of a great song number, this is one of those scenes where I was invested, excited, and laughing the whole time. It ups the jokes, it ups the action, it ups the characters, it even ups the drama. Yeah, there's some real tearjerker scenes in this climax. Yeah, I know, from Luigi's Mansion to... I've talked about it before in the past, I don't even know what else to say about it. It's just so good. Everything has been stepped up to the next level. Get it? However, is there a downside? Yes, there is. It came out the same week as fucking Luigi's Mansion 3? Oh, God, do I hate Luigi's Mansion 3? Everyone went to play the same rehash bullshit that wasn't even really that fun in the first one. Instead of seeing this really funny, really smart, artistically put together video games. Luigi's Mansion 3? Sucks, I'm on to the next one, bye.